Hey everybody, it's Maggie Mulhern from Modern Salon TV. I am here with my buddy, Deetra Smith of... Hannah and me in Moulton, Alabama. And we just love shooting with Deetra. She's one of our favorite hairdressers. She's the artistic director for Hot Tools and on the Matrix team. Education team. On the Matrix education team. And she got to do all of her special things here today at the shoot. Uh, she got to, she took some hair talk extensions and pre-colored them and let's go over that first tell us what you did here oh i used the color sync metallic tones i used rose gold smoky lilac sheer bronze and sil uh, the silver gray so, yeah so we wanted the metallics and you kind of melted them and right. kind of made them more of a texturized look right yes because i knew that i was going to be adding texture to the hair and i wanted to show flecks of metallic color in the movement so i laid the extensions out on the counter and actually melted them into a flame stitch pattern what color did you start with for the hair talk extensions? Oh, because I knew that my model had dark hair, a dark brown, I went ahead and put a dark brown base and then added the colors following that. That's, it's important to know that because if they don't match at the base, it's, they'll show up a lot of times in photos and it'll look more obvious that it isn't the natural. So even before you put on the brown, what shade did you start with? Oh, it was already pre-lightened. It was about a level 10. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. So then you went in and added some texture using, we should point out again that she is the artistic director for Hot Tools and brings an arsenal with her. And, and I just, my question is why, do, if you already have the curl bar, which has four amazing sizes mm -hmm. of curling irons, why do you also have these here? Well, when I'm on set, I never know what's going, what I'll need next. If we're changing the look, maybe it would require this tool. I use that curl bar set all the time for styling long hair and creating wavy patterns. But suppose I just need to reach up and hit those ends with a curling iron. Uh, the Marcel is my go-to always. Which is your favorite of all of your tools here? I'm putting you on the spot. Out of every single tool. If I was left on a desert island and could only take one tool, it would be my one-inch Marcel always. So that's gorgeous. So where is our model Ruby? We want to show you um, where, how you place these extensions to get the most perfect curl. Now again, we've taken her out of wardrobe, so this is not what she was wearing. And hang on, I'm going to move over here. It was a very cool shoot because she had very masculine wardrobe. And to complement it, uh, Dietrich went very feminine with the hair to show that there's really not a conflict. You can have feminine hair and masculine fashion that it can work together. It's, it's, as I'm calling it, very well suited. Okay, oh, so Dietra, nice. yeah, that, I think that might be our title. All right, so okay, go ahead. I didn't use any in the, in the sides because for most of the shoot, we had the sides pulled back. But as you can see right here in the back, I put several of those one inch strips, just stuck them to the hair. And if, if she were gonna wear this on the street, I would sandwich those and put one underneath and one on top and snap those together. And they'll last a good while. In this case, because we needed them on set, I also have the solution from Hair Talk that will dissolve the glue and take them right out. And Ruby has naturally curly hair. So how yes. did you get this texture? I created it with a curling iron. I needed the, the texture to match between the straight extensions and her curly hair. So I just smoothed her curl out and gave all of the hair the same size curl. And for one of the looks, which I loved, you flat ironed the hair flat yes. to about mid neck and yes. then went in with your favorite one inch uh -huh. and then some curl bar and really kind of mixed up the curl. Right. Yes, and the reason I did that's because I've been working on the runways a lot with Fashion Week, and that's what you're seeing a lot. You see this laid down smooth, and then you see a flare at the ends. It's not the girly curl. It's more of a, a loose, wavy curl. Well, this is so great. So we're going to go get Ruby dressed again. Uh -huh. Thank you so much, Dietra. I had a great shoot today. This was fun. Thank oh, you so thank much. thank you. Thank you, Ruby. You were a great oh. model. Thanks. Oh, you're, oh, can I, oh never mind. Okay.